hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i will show you guys how i did this complete transformation to my daughter's room how i transformed her walls as well as her desk so this is what it looked like before her walls are completely blank and we have some furniture that she has outgrown so i'm going to be adding decals to her wall to do the transformation this is a collaboration with rocky mountain decals so I'm just going to go ahead and apply them to the wall. The decals are very simple to apply and for this I did do a pattern of an arch shape. I really love how three dimensional these decals are and also how easy they are to install on the wall. Now I did make a slight mistake when installing these so if you guys do choose to use these um, try not to stick them on first all the way. Um, that's that's the one thing that I, I regret doing when I install these um, because um, it's just easier if you kind of just stick it on a little bit and kind of see how it's positioned, then go ahead and stick it onto the wall. So here is how I apply it. I just stick it on and then Rocky Mountain Decals provides this pink thing that allows you to help smooth it onto the wall. So it's very simple. It took me about 30 minutes to apply the flowers. So her bed does have an arch shape. So I knew that I wanted to accentuate the bed and kind of have that arch shape along the bed. So once I got the shape that I wanted, I went ahead and added the petals. The decals are, they, they are very three-dimensional so it kind of looks like the flowers are dropping from the air which I really do love this did give a lot of character to my daughter's room and since she's five years old it definitely helped transform her room to a big girl room so I'm just continuing to add the flowers I added the flowers to some of the corners of the wall so I'm just showing you guys what I mentioned from the beginning by not sticking it on all the way until you were completely satisfied because I was not satisfied with this decal. So I had to go ahead and remove it and place it back on the wall. The thing that I do love about these decals is although um, I did have to take it off, it was very easy to take it off and reapply it back to the wall. So here is where her furniture looked like before and now I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade her desk. I no longer needed that desk because um, she used that from about the time she was two to up until now and that she's five years old. That combination is from Ikea so I will leave the link to that below as well. So I did end up giving this to one of my Instagram followers in the Atlanta area. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because I do showcase a lot of what I do in my Insta stories. Um, so I did give a chance to give that away to one of my followers and that was a great feeling for me. So I'm just going ahead and removing everything. I've removed the chair, I've removed the desk and I'm gonna remove the books because I'm gonna add a bookshelf along the way and I'm gonna go ahead and add this vanity. This is, I believe it's the mom vanity from Ikea. I will link that below as well. And I'm adding this chair. This is actually my old vanity and chair combination that I no longer need. And I added a cover that I found on Amazon. So now I am adding this mirror to the wall. And I'm gonna go ahead and level the mirror before I add it onto the wall. So I'm just going to head, go ahead and um, add the um, screws into the wall and I'm going to go ahead and hang the mirror up on the wall. So it was very, very simple for me to do this. I did purchase this mirror from Burlington and once I installed the mirror, I went ahead and installed another decal along the window because I am going to go ahead and add a bookshelf to this wall. So I'm just going ahead and I am adding my drywall anchors to the wall and I am installing that bookshelf. It wasn't as deep as I really wanted it to be, so I wasn't able to add a lot of books. 
So I did end up putting her bookshelf in the closet with her toys. Um, because like I stated, she has a pretty big walk-in closet that um, allows, has a lot of storage for her toys as well as her clothes. So now I'm just going ahead with a box cutter and I'm cutting along the end of that flower where it meets the window. I did not damage anything. Um, I just pretty much got rid of the, the flowers. So she's loving her room and this is how it came out. We love it so much, so make sure you're subscribed because we'll be doing a room tour very soon.